Today, I'll be extending the flight time of my Phantom drone. Now this can be done with any battery, but I chose to use an old Phantom battery that I had. We will first remove the old PCB from the booster battery to make this battery dumb. After removing the balancer, we can see where the battery attaches to the PCB. This will help to create a Y connector between the two batteries. Now you notice they added this tape um, to cover up the terminals. Honestly, it doesn't look that safe, so I'm just gonna cover this with electrical tape. Yeah, it's just gonna be much safer. I tried to get the battery as close to the center of gravity as I could, and then I temporarily zip-tied it in place. It's also good to check that the gimbal can still move freely. Now this first flight was without the booster battery, so it was just to get a good benchmark. Now the flight time came on just under 17 minutes, which is probably because it was below freezing outside. Obviously, with higher temperatures, we could expect something closer to 25 minutes uh, for what the battery itself is rated for. Now let's try the booster battery. I noticed that the Phantom was much less stable. Uh, when I got above the canopy, the drone just could barely handle the moderate wind. Uh, however, I was able to get about 24 minutes of flight time, so there was a 7 minute increase. With warmer weather, this setup could probably get us to around 35 minutes of flight time. So obviously you do sacrifice stability of the drone and the motor lifespan goes down, but this does get you 10 minutes of extra flight time if you need it. Thanks for watching this short video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you later.